went to Eddie's car accident, which was an old sunroof, which was on the car. When he hit the flood, the car hit the side of the road. His head went out the sunroof window and she was hitting off the road. And that's what caused all these injuries. I used to work in the Bon Secours Hospital as a care assistant there. I was out one night at Charity Ball. I had a long, lovely, long dress on me and high heel shoes as you do. <laughs> I must have stepped on my long dress and I came tumbling down two flights of stairs. I was 31. And 27 weeks pregnant. And it was over in Abu Dhabi. Yeah. I had a brain hemorrhage. Morgan was delivered. Um, so he survived. He's a fighter. Um, like yourself. <laughs> Galway were in the All-Ireland Final in 2017. Jason got a ticket at the last minute from the club, Sarsfields Hurling Club, and he was all excited, and himself and his friend decided to get in the hotel that night in, in Dublin. He was walking home back to the hotel, and he fell into the canal. So the next morning, around five o'clock, I could hear Dermot's phone ringing. I could hear the guard saying, and she said, what's your name? I said, is he gone? I said, is he gone? He was, Touch and go for the first 24 hours, 48 hours. He was too long in the water that he got brain damaged. Brendan just turned 19 when he was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes. And one morning I got a call from his brother, from Sean, saying that uh, Brendan is in the hospital. He's in a coma. Um, he had been without insulin for two to three days and that that had caused um, brain injury. So then I was rushed up to Beaumont Hospital in Dublin and that's where I underwent surgery. Uh, two plates inserted in my brain, my skull. They said it, they couldn't, there's no way he can survive this because his brain injury is too severe. So they asked us to check out and look into you know, where we're going to bring him. And at that stage, I knew I couldn't bring him home. The task I was given then was to visit nursing homes in Galway to see who would be appropriate and who would be willing to take him. You know, when something like this happens, you'll be really impatient and looking for the, the next, um, you know, you're looking for recovery overnight sort of thing. So then I had to look outside of the city and fortunately, Holly Lane opened. It was the end of September. It was, I think, between the social care in Dublin and Brian Maloney's edited his business here in Galway. They told us about Cambridge, and we said, oh, we'll have to check this out. The service was brought in because there was a deficiency, and that when you're caring for somebody with an acquired brain or spinal injury, is that there was currently no facility on the west of Ireland that could provide that care. The 12 months I spent in St. Gerard's Ward in a 10 by 10 little room with Raymond, what I didn't know was that these facilities existed. Because if I did, do you think I would have spent a year in there? My God, we have gardens here to walk around in. We have beautiful walks, even in and out, and it's countryside. And Raymond was a country man, and I was a country person. And the first time I walked Raymond out to the gate and in, I thought, I wasn't able to do this in Galway. For somebody who does have an acquired or spinal injury, the land was unknown. Um, where they were going to fulfill their long-term care needs was a place of unknown. So Clarenbridge Nursing Home has provided a new home. It means that Brendan is looked after in every way. And so is family. We're included as well. It's not just Brendan. It's more a support for, for us and for Brendan. When it happened, like I had to learn how to do everything again. So like to speak, to 
walk to every <laughs> everything. I want to reassure people that there's places like Clearbridge that's there. They go all out and about to help. The facilities are fantastic. The um, physiotherapist, the cook even. They're doing their best to help me. And it's a great support for anyone with injuries like I have. There isn't that many options out there. And we didn't know anything about the services here at all. And we've had nothing but good experience here at Clarence Bridge. It's not, uh, it's not a nursing home, it's, it's a home really for him. I'd highly recommend it. It was the hardest decision ever to um, agree to Brendan being in a nursing home, but I wouldn't trade it now because, as I say, this is where his life is and this is where he has a community around him. And I couldn't, um, I couldn't match that at all. My advice to others, people that are going through the same situation, is to just keep trying and it'll all work out in the end. <laughs> Funny if you get the word out. Yeah, I'm more positive now. I'm, I was very pessimistic about everything really. But uh, now that I look at part, uh, how um, far I have come, it's, a, it's an inspiration to anyone. Wonderful that there is a service on the west of Ireland that specialises in this because there is a demand for this kind of service and we are unique. We have the expertise, we have the knowledge, we have the recognition, we work incredibly closely with the National Rehabilitation Hospital and we have the stories that prove that we are successful through our rehabilitation programme.